What's up, Raft gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now look what just arrived in the Raft Cave. PlayStation VR 2. Wow, I cannot believe I'm holding it right now. This amazing box of new technology from Sony. This is the ultimate VR accessory right here. Using the power of PS5, this headset is supercharged. And I'm so excited to dive into VR gaming. Of course, on my live streams, prepare yourself. We're going to be playing a lot of VR. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Now, I love playing the Quest and Meta Quest and all these things on my channel. Loved it. A lot of accessories and upgrades and all these you know, attachments I've built to it. But, man, the technology that this offers, I mean, see ya. Gone. This is the new king right now of VR. And I'm so excited. I love virtual reality gaming. I mean, once you're in the game and you're, like, looking around... You can't match it on a 2D screen in front of you. There's no way. You can't do it. But man, the power of PlayStation 5 powering this thing. This has 4K HDR lenses up to 120 frames a second. Comfortable. Rumble. Amazing new controllers with haptic feedback and amazing sound that PlayStation offers. The, the spatial audio and all this good stuff. And just the lightweightness of it and the, the, the way it looks. It's just so damn cool. I can't wait. Had to get the Horizon bundle. This one comes with the uh, the Horizon uh, Call of the Mountain, I think. Call of the Wild, something like that. But this game is basically just a showcase of all the latest technology that this, this offers. And, of course, all the new games coming out. Oh, man, just more and more technology and more and more. Just, oh, I can't wait. I have about seven games loaded up on my playstation for this thing so this is gonna be crazy can't wait all right guys enough babbling i mean all over the internet all over twitter all over youtube all everywhere the reviews on this are spectacular games that people are playing gran turismo racing and people just freaking out losing their mind it's just i can't wait to dive in this i mean i'm done okay let's unbox this and uh yeah tune in tonight for sure i'm gonna be on all right check out this box it's incredible you know look at that Horizon, Call of the Mountain. Look at that beautiful headset and those beautiful controllers. Just so clean. Look at that. Is that a thumbnail? Bam. Look at that. Beautiful. Comes with the game. The back of it. I mean, look. Are you kidding me? That's the game. That's what the game looks like when you're playing in virtual reality. That is incredible. The foyated, fo foyated, foyated, rendering, fo foyated. Basically, man, when you're looking at something, that's what the highest quality graphics. So it's not even, it's not even like using a lot of the power on the outside of stuff you're not looking at. So that way, when you're looking at something, it's like super clear and it's detailed. That no other VR headset's done that, so which is awesome. And like when you look over that way, then that part's super clear and this is kind of blurry and stuff. When you look over here, this is super clear and that's kind of blurry over here. And no matter what you're looking at, it's always amazing so that's what i really love about this so it's such cool technology so a lot of the games in the future using that eye tracking technology and you're looking around like that one horror game i have pre-ordered uh switchback or something like that it's gonna be crazy all right love it just just an awesome box guys Ooh, just like the ps5's box this is this is great Ooh. all right guys you know what time it is black pin <laughs> Gotta break the seal. There's two there's two stickers up here. All right? Standard stuff here and the official PlayStation sticker. Official official. Right there. Oh, oh there it is. It's open. Oh, Oh, man. Now, I've seen people dump this out. It just falls out. There's a flap somewhere up here. Right here, I can feel it. And the flap. See, the flap opens up like this. Let me switch cameras, guys. So the flap opens up like this with... Well, this is supposed to be sticky, but it's not. And that is what it opens up the goods. So it looks like we have 
the cables. I don't know what maybe it's not a, yeah. Cables pa package in there. Oh, there's only one cable. Let's see. Let's see what this is here. This is probably the uh, code. Hold on. All right, so once you open it up, this is what you see. The Horizon Call of the Mountain download code on the other side. I will be redeeming that immediately. Can't see it anyway. <laughs> Got to scratch it off. <laughs> I love it. Nice. And uh, you have the charging cable. This is a USB-C standard charging cable. USB, USB-C charging. That'll be for the controllers. We have the included earbud bundle with uh, large and small earbud uh, rubber pieces. You can uh, adjust adjust this with, depending on your ear. And the owner's instruction book with some color. In multiple languages, of course. All right, that is it for that. I will be always using uh, headphones. I probably won't use this, but I'll, I'll, you know, hook it up and plug it in just to have it there. All right. So we have, now remember this can be a carrying case in the meantime, since if you don't have one of those nice, fancy charging docks, mine's on it on its way. I'll make a video about it. When I get one, you can put your accessories and the headset inside this box in the meantime. What is it? Lightweight, lightweight. Oh, the headset. And that is it, guys. That's it. Nice little carrying. It's a, it's a harder, uh, hard plastic in there, so it's durable. All right. Headset and the DualSense controllers. Opening up one now. Let me flip the camera, guys. And we are back. In front here. Oh, sneak peek. Ooh. Oh, new tech from Sony and PlayStation. I love it. Oh man, look at this. This is Woo. <laughs> it uh it's got that nice smooth cold plastic because i just got it. it's very cold nice smooth you got uh, two triggers here now this one here they clicky it's click i hope it it survives a million clicks because it seems to be a little softer kind of a click and then this feels just like uh the controller the little trigger there and you have the uh you have the analog the analog stick there Analog stick, PlayStation button. Uh, I think that's a, is that the option button there? Uh, let's see this, that button right there is the one that I feel it's a pretty squishy. I hope it lasts a million, a million clicks at least. Buttons are a little smaller than the controller. They're not the same size. They're miniature buttons of the controller and they click in, click in pretty good. And the analog does click in moves around the PlayStation button is very soft very soft no clicky no clicky in that PlayStation button right here no clicky there I feel some you know larger hands people it's uh it's a little bit smaller it feels a little bit smaller it'll get the job done though but a, an extra large one would be nice if Sony ever makes one. I would get the extra large one. You know, for bigger hands people like me. Mm. All right, there is an included strap, so definitely make sure you uh, use this at all times. Put your hand through that. Put, put your hand, there we go, through that, and then twist away, and it locks in. Okay, yeah. Not going nowhere. And I heard you can put your hand through here and just hold it like this if you want to. All right. Okay, we got one. No, oh, let's do this off here. There. 
twist away. Yeah, twist away. There you go. All right, there's one down. And here is number two. Old plastic since it was just outside in a cold UPS truck all day long. And same button, same clickiness. And all that good stuff. Looks like it's trying to find the little button there. The little light. The little light was shining here. It's the lights right here. Trying to find the headset. Very light, guys. It's very lightweight. Twist, twist away. And then twist in. And grab. And we are locked and loaded, ready to go. Boom. All right. We got that down. Well, got to get used to that. It's not like, it's not very easy to pull it like this. You got to like almost twist your way out of it to loosen it. It's interesting. All right. Nothing used to that. All right. Controllers set. And now the main event of the evening. Here's the cord. USB-C lightning, of course. This is about uh, four meters, about 14 feet of this cable here. Now, I did not own the first PlayStation VR. I, I just thought it looked too hokey of all the wires and all the boxes you needed and those those the dildo light sticks you had to hold on to with the light bulb on top of the dildo. I just wasn't feeling that. And then the graphics, nah, not really. No, wasn't really ready for that. That's all out the way now with the VR, VR2. Ooh, now that, now that head, head cushion feels nice. Ooh, ooh. Lightweight, definitely lighter than the, the Meta. Holy moly, awesome. Man, that, the texture, the texture, guys. When you, when you squish this for the first time, it feels fantastic. It is like a pillowy, rubbery, like non-slip kind of a feel. Non-slip. When you put your fingers in this little ring right here, that feels nice. That feels really nice. And then, oh, the accordion thing they were talking about, the, the eyepiece here, right here. That will will completely darken everything, and it just feel it'll feel really nice in the skin. Oh, those lenses are big. Oh, I like those lenses, guys. Look how big they are. Oh, that is impressive, guys. Wow, I didn't think they were that large. They seem bigger than the Metas for sure, and I really like the the nose the nose flap right here to to cover up any light when you look down. You know, right, right by your nose, a lot of times you'll see light bleed right there. So hopefully this one is nice, uh, nice fitted there. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, so, um, so I have to attach the uh, the headset or the ear earbuds. So you have uh, there's a couple holes here. There's a hole here, and then a hole right here, and that's where you attach this guy towards. Which I will do. If someone ever wants to use the use it, they can just throw this in their ear instead of using the big headphones. So it looks like you have one headphone piece here, the 3.5, and then the other one's just gonna clip into the headset. And as far as the uh, the size, that seems just fine. Just a standard normal normal size earbuds here. Don't think I need to uh, go with the large or small one. That'll be fine. Cool. All right. So then that would go into the bottom here. I'll flip camera for you guys here. Looks like it would go here and here. Uh, pop right in, guys. Real simple. Got some buttons in the bottom. 
Uh, the middle one is the power button. That's the power button. That's the pass through button. And then this one I think is a microphone maybe. I like the symbol of PlayStation on the side. This is going to be your locking mechanism to pull it out. You know, forward and back. And then this is the, uh, there's a little, a little dial here that moves the lenses out and in, depending on your, your face shape, your eye, your eye width. All right, go back to the main camera here. Oh man, this is so cool. All right, so then you would just put these earbuds inside the little, boop, just like that. You just go right in there. Like that. Look at that. Nice little convenient little spot there for him. Okay. And then this cord here, guys, is uh, routed inside the, uh, the headpiece. Inside all the way to the front. So it is detachable in case something goes wrong with it. But I definitely will not be taking this apart to, to remove this cable. Uh, there, there is a way to get to an extension. I think you can extend it another six feet, I think, without any trouble. So 20 feet is pretty long. I mean, that's 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 a big space. Okay, so it looks like you would um, push this button in. That's what I what I've been seeing. Push it in, and then you're able to pull. I believe you're supposed to be able to pull it out. Pull pull this. Okay. Is it supposed to stay or looks like you just kind of stretch it? I mean, this thing stretches out big time. Look at that. Wow. So you stretch, put it on, and then you can twist to uh, to secure it. And then you push the button here and it unlocks it. Then you just pull it. Looks like you don't have to turn it and turn it and turn it like the MetaQuest does. You just press it and pull it. That's it. I like that. That's a much quicker way to remove this. All right, and uh, yeah, let's um, push this button here, this top one, remember? And then that, woo, woo. So that pulls this thing out here. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on. I probably should move this spacer out because I think they're too close together. So I'm gonna move this out a little bit, just like that. So push the button, stretch this out. Oh, that new smell of plastic. All right, that's locked in. Oh, wow, this... Okay, so the top part's not that tight. Got to tighten this first. And then... So tighten... Okay, so tighten the headpiece first. Make sure that's comfortable. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Like, right here. And then... You move this in until that locks in. Oh, wow. So this is very good for keeping the light out. So there's no light coming in from the sides, no light from the top. The only light I can see, of course, is if I look cross-eyed towards my nose, I can see a little bit of a, a gap. But I'm sure I can push this in more, you know, closer to my face. I just don't want to, like, touch the the lenses with my eyeballs I mean I'm right there okay well guys so it feels great I don't feel any pressure anywhere on my head it is completely balanced no more of this uh you know big battery pack back here to counterweight it like I did with the meta very light feels wonderful Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, many hours with this on my face, and I'm not going to feel any kind of, like, fatigue or pressure on my neck or head or forehead or back of my... Well, I do have to put the headphones on, right? Headphones have to go on, so we'll see what happens at the top of the head. Oh, man, this, this just feels good, man. It's so that accordion thing on the side of my face right here, it just feels so light. It's barely... F oh, man. Okay, I got to go, guys. Oh, that's it. So basically you pull out there, push the button, expand out, and boom. 
I think I put a little bit of fog in the lenses, maybe. All right, anyway. Well, guys, that's the unboxing. I'm going to plug this into my PlayStation 5 and get it all set up uh, for that. But that's just the unboxing. I uh, hope you, you liked it. hope you're excited for it. I can't wait to dive in and just have a whole lot of fun in PlayStation VR 2. This thing is, this thing is, this looks awesome. All right, guys. All right, guys just got back from dinner. Uh, it was delicious spaghetti dinner with wonderful garlic bread. It was awesome. Um, so I'm going to hook this up to my PlayStation 5. And then we're going to go through the uh, initial setup process together. All right. Sound good, guys? I'm going to flip the camera. And then um, let's get this wire hooked up right now. All right. So as you can see, um, PlayStation is right there. And I want to hook up the uh, cable to the front of the system. But I only want to hook up this cable once. I don't have to keep unplugging and plugging. That's going to wear out the, the port, could wear out the cable, and that's a no-no. So I'm going to hook this up once, and that's it. So I'm going to keep my PS5 on the other side of the TV, but I'm, I sometimes want to live stream on the other side of the TV. Or I could play in the living room behind the screen. So there's a couple of different places I could play VR. So let's go ahead and hook this cable up, and uh, let's get the show on the road. All right, here we go. And uh, yeah, let me get this cable wrapped around. PS VR2 in the raft cable, let's get it. All right, I'm gonna unwind this 14 foot cable and I'm gonna hook this up. All right, give me a sec, guys. All right, so I'm pulling this cable so it has enough slack where hopefully I can play it over here and over there. I don't know, guys. All right, we'll see. Okay, okay so can... first thing, guys, you want to do, remember, press the unlock. Stretch this out. Got to get used to this thing here. Back of the head. Lock it in. Push the button in. And then push it to your face. Now turn it on. Got a feel for the power button here. All right, powering on now. I just felt the rumble. Whoa. Oh, okay. We're in. I see a giant, you know, floating screen in front of me. Remove your headset and follow the instructions on the TV screen, it says. Okay. Oh, update the PS VR2 software. So there's an update. Whoa, big rumble on the headset just happened. All right, I get some icons there. Set up your PlayStation VR2. Get ready for an immersive experience. To get started, set up your PS4 sense controllers, eye tracking, and create a play area. All right, let's get started, shall we? Connect stereo headphones to your VR headset. We did that already. Right, right here. I put them in, tucked them in good. Pair your PS Sense controllers with your PS for one one I did that already. Yep. Yep, we did that. Okay, they're both connected, both paired up. Unplug USB cables from your Sense controllers, put them away within reach. Now you're ready to press the function button on your VR headset. All right. So put these away, it says. Can't get used to those straps for some reason. <clears throat> All right, so when you're ready, press the function button on your VR headset to go to the next step. That's the see-through button here. Before use, yep, health, yep. 
Enjoy a safe experience, set up your room properly. Clear some space so there's nothing to bump and trip you. Yep, that's on the other side of the TV. Next, turn on the flashlights in your room so you can hook. Yep, we have that. Check the brightness of your room using the camera and your VR headset. Hold your VSR at face level, then press the function to start checking. Checking. Brightness check is complete. Now I'll follow the engine ride and put in your headset. Okay. Pull out scope. Press and hold. Yep, it's already out fully. Yep. Done. And then, yep, press and release. And then pull out. Yep. Done. Yep. Put that on. Yep. Down. And tighten. Okay. And press that, and then push it in. All right, done. Stereo headphones. Uh, all right, I'll just do this for now. I'll do this part for now. But I'm normally going to use my awesome headphones. Okay, I hear some music. All right, so now make sure you can see the screen clearly. Adjust the lens distance so that they are proportional, middle. Oh, cool. Got a little thingamajigger there. And now the dial. So now you can see my eyeballs. I'm locked in. This is it, right? I'm locked in. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, I'm locked in. Whoa, cool. Pass through mode, guys. Oh, yeah, this looks good. This looks way better than the MetaQuest. Not way better, but clearer. And I like how my controllers are glowing. They got a little globe around them. That's really neat. <clears throat> All right, yep, do the strap. It's really cool. It's got a floating little deal there. That's pretty nice. Oh. All right. Strap, twist away. Put your hand in there. Whoa. Uh, there we go. Oh, big use of that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Put your hands through the rope straps. Yep. Hold the grips. Done. All right. Select. Select cancel move. R1, L1, R2, R2, okay. And then create button, and then options button. All right. And press and hold the options button to set the direction you're facing in the front. Okay, cool. Oh, cool, okay, that resets the, the menu. All right, places your VR tracks movements of your eyes. During the adjustment, follow the red dots with your just your eyes without moving your head. Okay, start. Whoa, that was crazy. Whoa, that's bright. Wow, HDR in effect. Well, 
that's cool. They don't do that in the middle. Whoa. Eye adjustment is complete. Okay, I'm looking at it. Oh. Well, I'm supposed to look at the dots. Huh? Wow. That's fast. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Oh, wow. That's really crazy. Okay, cool. All right, set an area you can play VR games. And first, you need to scan your room for the VR headset camera. When you're ready, all right, put this controller away. It weird me. And then we'll put that mouse over there. All right, guys, start scanning. Look all around you, including the ceiling. Whoa, it's scanning the VR raft cave. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, the raft cave is infected with VR, man. Yo. That is so cool. Do, 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 do. I love that 3D effect. Are you sure you're done complete scanning? Because I want to scan some more. Wow, that's so neat. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Scan's complete. No more scanning. Look at the floor. Your play area should be level with your room's floor. If it looks like it's floating. Yep, that looks like the floor to me. Yep. That's good. Uh, I'm going to stay seated for this particular part right here. Set temporary play area. Pick a place where you won't run into obstacles when stretching out your arms and legs. Take steps to prevent pets. Yeah, we'll sit. Oh, here's my play area right here. Ooh. All right, my temporary play area is set. With this play area, okay, sitting. So sitting is right here. I also have another sitting area I might want to do later, but let's see about this. All right, I'm all set. That was really neat. Whoa. It knows. Whoa. Yeah. PSVR 2. Cool. Oh, wow. Tips on getting you started. It's time to experience the next generation of virtual reality VR2. Let's go. Give me the tour. Adjust VR settings anytime. You can change the settings whenever you want with the VR2 options. See your surroundings. Press the function button anytime to view your surrounding spot nearby objects. Yep, we know that. That's the pass through. Discover immersive games. Start playing games very little. Downloading. Yep, we did that already. Wow. There. So basically this screen in front of me is definitely bigger than my 65 inch. I'd say this is a good, this has got to be like a 75 inch TV in front of me right now. It's pretty sweet. So there it is. Call of the mountain. That'll be the first game I play. Uh, I do have the star Wars demo that I'm going to try out. This is just a demo. It's free. Uh, this is another demo to try is the football demo. Pistol Whip is a game I have. I've never played it on the Quest, so I'm very excited to try it on VR too. And I've never played After the Fall either, so I'm excited to play that one in this game as well, in this uh, system. And then, of course, there's Gran Turismo. 
7, which is like the rage on VR right now. So definitely looking forward to that. And then I also have uh, Resident Evil Village. That is another game I have PSVR 2. So I have plenty of games to try out on this new hardware. So I'm very excited to uh, to get into this, guy. So uh, be on the lookout for my live streams. I will be doing live stream tonight very soon here. just want to get things situated. And uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in VR. All right, guys, thanks for watching this unboxing and setup video. I'll see you in the next stream. Home theater rules, VR rules. This is awesome. Looking forward to it. Raph out. See you guys.